Here we're going to look at a nice problem involving the digit sum. So let's recall what the digit sum is. So we want to define a function d from the natural numbers to the natural numbers such that d of n is equal to the sum of the digits of n. So for example, d of 39 is 3 plus 9, which is 12. d of 412 is 4 plus 1 plus 2, which is 7. And our goal is to find d of d of d of 4,444 to the 4,444 power. And we're going to use Euler's theorem, sometimes called Euler's generalization of Fermat's little theorem, to help us out here. But we're not going to review it in complete detail. I've got a bunch of other videos where we use this tool. And in fact, I prove it in my number theory playlist. And so that says that if the GCD of A with N is 1, in other words, they are relatively prime, A to the phi of N is congruent to 1 mod N, where phi of N is Euler's totient function. And that counts the number of numbers between 1 and N that are relatively prime to N. And the takeaway from Euler's theorem is that if you're working with a congruence, the exponents can be calculated mod phi of n, as long as the base is relatively prime to n. So let's first, instead of calculating anything to do with the digit sum, let's see if we can calculate what this is congruent to mod 9. And why mod 9? Well, that's because the digit sum of a number and the number are congruent mod 9. So let's maybe write that real quickly as a fact. That is, n is congruent to the digit sum of n modulo 9. And that's actually pretty easy to see. So we'll do a little sketch of a proof here. So I'll write it in terms of digits as a sub m, a sub m minus 1, all the way down to a sub 1, a sub 0. Now expanding this with powers of 10, we see that this is a sub m times 10 to the m plus a sub m minus 1 times 10 to the m minus 1 plus all the way down to a sub 1 times 10 plus a sub 0. And the important thing here is that all of these ai's are on the set 0 to 9 because they make up the digits base 10 of n. Now we'll reduce both sides of this modulo n. And notice that if we reduce this side, we'll just rewrite it as n. And then if we reduce the right hand side, Every power of 10 is congruent to 1 mod 9. That's pretty easy to see, but that makes this equal to a sub m plus a sub m minus 1 all the way down to a sub 1 plus a sub 0, but that's exactly d sub n modulo 9, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So now that we've got our motivation for why we should look at this mod 9 in the first place, let's go ahead and calculate 4444 to the 4444 mod 9. And if we know what that is mod 9, then we know what the applications of these digit sums to that number is mod 9. So first off, I want to notice that phi of 9, well, like I said, that's the number of numbers between 1 and 9 that are relatively prime to 9. So in this case, we get 1, 2, 3 is not in there, but 4 and 5 are in there. 6 is not in there because they have a GCD of 3, but 7 and 8 are in there. So notice we get 6 total numbers, so that means phi of 9 is equal to 6. Now we're going to perform division with remainder of 4, 4, 4, 4 with 9 as the divisor and phi of 9 or 6 as the divisor and then use Euler's theorem to reduce this modulo 9. So I'll just write that calculation down. We have 4, 4, 4, 4 is equal to 9 times 4, 9, 3 plus 7. And then 4, 4, 4, 4 is equal to 6 times 740 plus 4. But now let's recall that that is equivalent to saying that 4, 4, 4, 4 is congruent to 7 mod 9 and that 4, 4, 4, 4 is congruent to 4 mod phi of 9, which in this case is 6. 
But using Euler's theorem, along with just general properties of congruences, we have 4, 4, 4, 4 to the 4, 4, 4, 4 must be congruent to 7 to the 4 mod 9. So notice we've reduced our base, modulo 9, and we've reduced our exponent, modulo 6. But notice that that is going to be congruent to 49 squared mod 9, because 7 to the 4th is just 7 squared squared. But now we can take 49. But now we can take 49. Notice that 49 is 4 mod 9, which makes 49 squared 16 mod 9, but 16 is just 7 mod 9. So we've got 4, 4, 4, 4 to the 4, 4, 4, 4 is congruent to 7 mod 9. But then using our fact up here, we have that d of d of d of 4, 4, 4, 4 to the 4, 4, 4, 4 is also congruent to 7 mod 9. Okay, let's get rid of most of this calculation and we'll move on to the next step. On the last board, we determined that D applied to D applied to D applied to our number was congruent to 7 mod 9. And now we're going to use another trick involving logarithms to get some bound on the size of our goal number. So let's maybe look at this fact kind of in parallel to what we had on the last board, and that is D of N is less than or equal to 9 times the number of digits of n. So that's pretty clear because if you had 9999 as many times as the number of digits of n, then you've like maximized this d of n. But now we want to write this number of digits of n in some sort of calculatable form. And the way that we can do that is using the logarithm base 10 and the floor function. So this is going to be equal to 1 plus the floor of the log base 10 of our number n. So now we can start applying this to our number 4444 4, 4, 4, to the 4444 4, 4, 4, from the inside to the outside. So let's start from the inside. So D of 4, 4, 4, 4 to the 4, 4, 4, 4. Maybe let's call this something for moving forward so it's a little simpler. Let's call this capital N. So that's going to be less than or equal to 9 times 1 plus the floor of 4, 4, 4, 4 log base 10 of 4, 4, 4, 4. Great. And again, that's using some logarithm rules involving exponents. OK, but now we can see pretty clearly that this object right here will be equal to 4, 4, 4, 4 times 4. So now let's make that calculation and see what we get. So adding 1 to it and multiplying by 9, we see that we'll get 1, 5, nine, 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 three. So that means D of this capital N is less than or equal to 159,993. So now working from the inside outside again, we'll calculate D of this object. So we've got D of D of N. So that's going to be less than or equal to nine times the number of digits here. So I won't use the logarithm because here we can just count up the number of digits. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have D of D of N is less than or equal to 9 times 6, which is equal to 54. And next what we want to notice is that D of little n achieves its maximum on the set 1, 2, up to 54 at the number 49. And in fact, D of 49 is equal to 13. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is if we apply D to any of these numbers, to 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 40, 54, then the largest output is 13. OK, but what that tells us, applied to this rule up here, is that D of D of D of N 
must be less than or equal to 13. Okay, but now we have everything on the board that we need in order to solve the problem. We know that D of D of D of capital N is less than or equal to 13, and we know D of D of D of capital N is congruent to seven mod nine. But there's only a single number that shares those two facts, and that is seven. So in other words, seven is the only number between one and 13 that is congruent to seven mod nine. So that means we know that D of D of D of N is equal to seven. And that's a good place to stop.